Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to another episode of the Atletico Madrid career mode. So, basically have a look at the league table. After 5 games, we have 12 points. We're just 1 point behind Deportivo and we're really doing well in the league and I think by the end of this episode we can be in first place. Both Barcelona and Real Madrid are really struggling in the league, especially Barcelona. They're in the last position in the league, which is really surprising. But anyways, in this episode we have some really difficult games. First up, we have Villarreal. Then in the Champions League, we have Galatasaray. And then we have Real Madrid. So huge games in this episode. The Madrid derby will be in this episode. It's going to be difficult to play all these games. Hopefully we will be able to win all of them. But honestly, it's going to be very difficult because we all know how good Real Madrid are. We all know how tough a team Galatasaray are. And we also know the quality of Villarreal. So all, t all three games are going to be difficult. Hopefully, we will be able to win all of them. Here, they do have the first chance of this game. Villarreal here. Leo Baptista with the ball. Godin defends well and keeps Baptista away from goal. That's why Baptista goes off balance and couldn't get a good shot off. Here, we have a free kick here in the 37th minute of this game. Koke takes it, but Asejo makes a very good save to keep the score nil-nil. I decided to bring off Koke by the end of the half because he's not performing really well for me, guys. He's not getting assists, not goals. I mean, he lacks a lot of pace for being a winger, so that's a really bad thing for him. He lacks the pace to actually go past opponents like, like just look at Carlos Vela. I mean, he's just unstoppable in this game. Gets the assist for Carrasco's goal. Even Carrasco is really good because he has pace. Koke lacks a lot of pace, so I think we need to sign a new winger in the January transfer window. But I don't know what to do with Koke then. Should we sell him? Should we keep him? You guys can let me know in the comments section below. Here is Carrasco again with the ball. He's just so good in this game. Look at him go. He's gone past already one player. He decides to take a shot, but Asenho makes a very good save. And the score remains 1-0 to Atletico. Yeah, Godin plays the ball down to Krichoviak. Krichoviak into Carlos Vela. Carlos Vela down to Krichoviak again. Now it's Griezmann with the ball. Griezmann back to Krichoviak. Krichoviak with the finish. That's a beautiful goal from Atletico Madrid on the counter. Griezmann and Krichoviak combined so well. And that is Krichoviak's third goal of the series. I mean, he scored more goals than any of my strikers. What a player he is. Here's Carlos Vela again. We have a chance to get the third goal of this game. Carrasco, yeah, to get his second goal. Come on, Carrasco. But his shot is saved by Asenho. What a save that was from Asenho. Another chance for us, guys. Here, Carrasco with the ball goes past one here. Down to Krichoviak again with the shot. It goes just wide, just above the crossbar. And after the game ends, the score remains 2-0 to Atletico Madrid. I think that's a fantastic result against a team like Villarreal. And I'm really enjoying this series, guys. The results we are getting are also really awesome. Top of the league now. And time for some training, guys. Players like Bellerin are very close to, you know, getting an increase in their overall. Let's see if Bellerin does increase. Yes, he does. Bellerin is now 77 rated. Even Carrasco is getting closer to 80, which is awesome considering I'm not enjoying Koke. So we need Carrasco to, you know, get at least up to an 80 or maybe 81 to, you know, help us in this season. As you can see, guys, this is how our Champions League group looks. We are in second place in the group with three points. Even Bayern Munich have three points. But now we have a game against Galatasaray and the Estadio Vicente Calderon at home, basically. We are playing against the Turkish side Galatasaray, as I said. It's going to be a difficult game against them. They have a very good team with good players like Luke. Lucas Podolski, Wesley Snyder, all quality players who have proven themselves in other leagues as well. So it's going to be difficult, but I reckon we have a side that can actually win this game. But I'm not using my first team, guys. It's my second team that's playing this because I want to rest up all my players for that Madrid tar because I really want to beat Real Madrid in that game. As you can see, players to watch Koke and Wesley Snyder. No surprises to that here. Burak Yilmaz here, down to Inian. Inian to Karakan. It's still Karakan with the ball. The first attack for Galatasaray. The ball is now with Adin who takes the shot, but it goes just right. And the score remains nil-nil. Wesley Snyder looks disappointed. Another attack for Galatasaray. They're dominating as the ball is close to going into the back of the net. But Gimenez does manage to clear it. After coming back from injury, guys, Gimenez has been really good. But yeah, they could have scored. Yeah, Angel Correa does manage to sprint past that player to, you know, get that attack sorted out. Another chance for Galatasaray. They're dominating as it's Wesley Snyder with a long shot. And he scores. What a goal that was from Wesley Snyder. No chance for any keeper in the world to save that. Just look at that for a goal from Wesley Snyder. That's just beautiful stuff. Just look at that. Wesley Snyder with the goal. And no chance for any keeper, as I said. Really good goal from Wesley Snyder to make it 1-0. And a chance for us guys in the 48th minute of this game in the second half. And we are back in this game. Thanks to a header from Saul. Koke gets the assist from the corner. Talking about Koke, guys, do you guys think he'll be much better if I use him in a, in a cam position or something like that? But I'll have to change my formation, so should I afford to do that? Should I actually do that, or should I just keep my current formation 
4-4-2 and just, you know, sell Koke and bring in another left winger in the January transfer window because I'm not too sure what to do with Koke now. He's not performing that well and here Wesley Snyder does score and after 64 minutes, Galatasaray are now in the lead, leading two goals to one. And obviously Galatasaray are a fantastic club, so I had to expect this. I kind of underestimated them. Thought they will be easy use my second team. I shouldn't have done that and now we are losing against them, but we can't get back in this game. Saulia goes past one, but couldn't go past another player. And obviously the attack ends and it's still 2-1 to Galatasaray. Another chance for us guys later on in this game in the 88th minute of it. Here's Fernando Torres guys. Still Fernando Torres with the shot. He hits the post. How unfortunate could he get? And after 90 minutes, the end of this game, it is 2-1 to Galatasaray. We have been beaten by Galatasaray. Honestly, they perform much better than us. They had better chances, they were the better team guys, I have to admit it. But anyways, as you can see, this is how the Champions League group stage table looks. After two games, we are in third position with three points, the same as Galatasaray. Bayern Munich are running away with the, comp with the group, not with the competition. Where they have six points there, and this is how the league table looks. Obviously, our next game is against Real Madrid, who are struggling in eighth position. Barcelona finally picked up some form and now are now in 15th place. So anyways, let's get into our first Madrid derby, guys. A game against Real Madrid at the Estadio Vicente Calderon. Obviously, such games are huge for both the fans and the players. Hopefully, we will not be disappointing the fans and win this game. This is my first team playing this game, obviously, except for uh, Koke. I've put in Carrasco. Again, you guys can let me know what we should do with Koke in the comments section below. But here, Carrasco does play instead of him. Hopefully, he will be the difference maker in this game. Obviously, Benzema is playing against us. They have Ronaldo as well. They have Bale. So, it's not an easy team to play against. And obviously, their defense has to be in top form to actually be able to defend against this team. They are playing Isco instead of James, which is a baffling decision because obviously, in my opinion, James is on another, another planet in comparison to Isco because Isco, he's great, yeah, he's a very good player, but James is something special. And being a Barca fan, it's actually, I'm actually admitting it that James could possibly be one of the best players in the world in the future if he's not now. We did have the first chance here to score, but Thiago's shot goes wide and not the best efforts there from Thiago. Here's Carlos Vela here, Ronaldo coming back to defend, but he gets nutmegged by Carlos Vela. Fantastic stuff from him, who placed the ball down to Griezmann then. And how did Antoine Griezmann miss that? I really do not know. That was such an easy chance for Griezmann to score. Another chance for us guys down to uh, Juan Fran here with the ball. Now it's Thiago here versus Ronaldo. He doesn't go past him but decides to lay the ball off to Krichoviak with the long shot. And that wasn't a very good attempt from him. And this game guys after half time turned out to be a very very disturbing game. I mean with all the yellow cards and all. I think this is the second yellow card of this game. This time to Bale. I mean it's been a very very you know uh, not, not, a, not the best game for the referees as I can say. Felipe Luis commits another foul. Gets himself booked. I mean the amount of fouls we were committing as well as Real Madrid were committing in this game was just insane. Both teams were getting booked non-stop. Finally a chance for Real Madrid here. Danilo with the long shot. Not exactly a long shot but definitely a very good volley. Just wide. That would have gone in. I would really be disappointed. Again here, Carlos Vela uh, tackles Danilo in a very awkward way. Gets himself booked. I mean, it was a very, very rash game. I mean, both teams were more like trying to injure the opposition than actually play football. There again, another foul from Real Madrid. And it was kind of irritating this game. It was like stop and start. Pretty irritating this game. Another chance for us. Finally, guys, can we get the lead? Thiago now with the 1 2 with Griezmann. Thiago with the shot with his left foot. Couldn't score there. If he would have taken that shot with his right foot, he probably would have scored. Here is Jackson Martinez, guys. Another chance for us. Possibly our last chance. It is still Jackson Martinez who was literally has disappeared in this game. Now it's Yannick Carrasco with the shot. Kaylor Navas makes a brilliant save to keep the score. Uh, nil nil. Another chance for us guys. Carrasco down to Krichoviak. Takes the touch away from Cruz and takes the long shot. And it goes just why that wasn't a long shot. Why do I keep saying takes the long shot? But anyways, that is the end of this game. We have drawn nil nil versus Real Madrid. To be honest, I'm not too disappointed with that. I mean, Real Madrid obviously a very tough team to beat. And obviously, we still are in first place. That's what matters. And obviously, we have a game in hand over Real Sociedad and Getafe. So, we probably will be able to distance ourselves from them. Barcelona kind of doing better now in 14th place. I expect them to be around us by the end of the season. So, you can't count them out anytime. They obviously have world-class players. And that's it, guys, for this episode. Obviously, here, Benzema, Ajiretse and I think that was Gilas. In the top scoring chart. The next episode we also have massive games. First up Real Sociedad, then Bayern Munich, then Deportivo. Both Real Sociedad and Depot are doing really well in the league. We obviously know how good Bayern Munich are. But that's it for this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Follow me on Twitter to stay updated. Subscribe to me so that you do not miss an upload. And I will see you guys in my next video.